Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a overdue Primark trip and I really hope I'm gonna make it up to you guys because this was a good one. If you're like me and you love neutral style but you also kind of love and I'm starting to branch out a little bit into colour, you're gonna love what was in store this month. There were some amazing designs as well, amazing suit sets, amazing shorts, amazing shirts. And I can't wait to share it with you all. So without further ado, grab yourself your favourite drink of choice, sit down, snuggle up and come shopping with me in Primark to see what is new in for April and spring summer 2023. Okay, and here we go. Let's see what is new in Primark for April 2023. So welcome back to Primark. It feels like I haven't been here in a small lifetime. I am liking the look of what I'm first seeing when I walk in, which is all of these really nice neutral natural tones with the greys and the greens, khakis, browns. I'm actually really liking this. Okay, already spotted something I want. I feel like we're going to be in for a good video today, so make sure you are sat down comfy and got a nice drink of choice and get ready to come shopping in Primark. As I said, this top they've got in black and they've got in the beige, but I am loving the beige. I've got ones like this very similar that I've bought before. See, this annoys me. It's a size L and it's on an S hanger. Looks like they're all larges, extra large, extra large. This is another problem, Primark. You really don't get enough stock. Love that though. That's £9. I feel like that's a little bit pricey. We've got this top here and this one is part of the Paula Echeverria um, X Primark. Looks like they've done a whole new collaboration by the looks of it. But again, a lot more natural. This is obviously the summer collection. This one is £10. These shorts are so nice. I really like them. They're also part of the collection and they are 14 I might have to grab them providing they've got my size. Oh, we've got a few more tops here. Nope, XL, 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 XL. So it seems even for summer, cargoes are still back in. So we've got these really nice beige pair, which are 20 pounds. And then we've got like this burnt orange set here. These are a lot more like canvas flowy. So they're a lot more summery, I would say. We've got the bottoms that are 14. And then we've got the longline blazer, which is 18. This is actually a really nice shade of orange. It's more like subtle. They've also got the calotte style bottoms here. So you could either use the suit with the trousers or with the shorts and these are 10 pounds. We've got these shorts in and there is a matching sort of quarter zip top here with the 1977. This is part of the same range from Paula. This is seven pounds. I've noticed that these like jogger shorts are really in at the moment. So like the cropped but like thicker jogger style. This is a little bit different and doesn't actually align with the range at all by the looks of it but this is a sequin skirt with these giant sequins and this is 14 pounds. Oh my goodness I was just telling Steph about this so this is the suit providing they've got my size I'm gonna grab. It's like a satin suit. So they've got the top, they've got a slip dress which I didn't see before and then they have the trousers and oh my goodness, look at it on the model. So there is the suit jacket and the dress which could look cute but I like the idea of the trousers and the suit top. So this is the more like a basics corner. This is the seam free range that people have been going mad over. I must admit I bought one myself and I wasn't that impressed with it. However, I'm loving this orange colour. I think this is actually really nice. They've also got some bright orange sports bra crop top style ones which I definitely think I'm going to grab one of those and then they've got some more orange on this back wall as well they've got like more of a parachute top they've got some denim shorts and then they've just got the t-shirts as well so I'm rushing over here because I see unfortunately not in <clears throat> the color I was after but I see the romper that I have been after this looks super small this is an extra small however they've got it in gray this purple and then is this an orange oh my goodness I really hope they have my size oh no I'm gonna have to try a small in this but this looks amazing I actually think I would wear that I've just spotted this workout set as well. The camera is not translating it at all, but look at this color. Oh my goodness, I just said to Steph though, I feel like one wash and these do not last in this color, but I'm still way too tempted to grab this. I think I'm gonna get these. So I managed to find this, which I've been looking for for ages, which is the um, like all-in-one workout suit. I don't actually know if I'd wear it for workout, Steph just asked, but this is 14 pounds and I'm definitely gonna grab that. If you've got any water sports, they literally do whole um, wetsuits here and these are 32 pounds, but you know, coming down to the coast and people do need them. Goodness, that's a good color. 
it's really bright they've got the leggings as well in that green but it depends if they're see-through or not that's the only problem oh no coats i'm not in the mood for coats of course we have the regular sort of middle section where they sell all of the essentials so like the shorts for summer but they've got this lime green orange We've got denim shorts as well, but look at these. These are like the colored ones. I am really gravitating towards orange at the moment. Oh, wow, I really like these. Okay, I might have to grab a pair to try on. These are 13 pounds. I am finding that the Primark denim is getting a little bit expensive considering the quality isn't amazing. We've got more over here. We've got, oh, they're nice. Of course, I gravitate towards the beige ones, but I might have to try those as well. I'm in the holiday slash swimwear section, gravitating towards this, which is a little one shoulder bikini top. This is such a weird fabric. I can't even explain, but these are seven pounds. I would never buy something like that for holiday though, because you'd just get the most awkward tan. And then they have got the bottoms there, which are seven pounds. We've got a lot of bright colors. I really like that pink one actually. It's that same strange fabric. I really have never seen anything like it before. We've got some long beach cover-up dresses, the hats. These are the sort of um, knockoff. I can't remember what that brand was that did them. But anyway, I much prefer the um, Poundland ones that you can get. This is such a cute design of swimsuit. That's really nice. And because it's off the shoulder, it's good for tanning as well. So this swimsuit is 12 pounds. And then they also do the bikini if you prefer in that same really pretty print. I feel like they do this each year, but I really like it. I don't think it would suit me, but it's ever so elegant and it's a little cover up and it's 12 pounds. Apart from the bikini that I just showed you with the blue print and then the pink one as well, I'm really not seeing kind of anything that's catching my eye. It's all kind of the more basic stuff. So I'd say that the blue one was kind of the top pick for me and this pink triangle one, I really like that. Really different fabric. Oh, I guess this is kind of cool. This is like a sparkly tie up one. So this is seven pounds for the top and five pounds for the bottom. I quite like the bottoms with the tie. I can see this being quite popular actually. They then have the swimsuit version for 12 pounds. We've got some navy as well. And back to this one again. Oh, this design's nice. I can't see a top of it anywhere, but the white with the little bit of beige stitching is nice. Right, heading into Primark Beauty, seeing if there's anything new in. So they do now these giant bags of these sponges. Amazing for makeup artists. This is nine pounds. I never personally tried these sponges myself, but they are very attractive. I don't know why. And we also have a little personal set if you prefer. These are only three pounds. We've got cream bronzer, a blush, sorry, cream bronzer. This looks like it's trying to dupe Charlotte Tilbury. And this is a mascara. They've also got the Wonder Lash. So this is trying to dupe the Benefit one by the looks of the packaging. This is new from their Prep and Perfect range. So this is the Up All Night Makeup Setting Spray. This is five pounds. Clearly Up All Night. This is trying to dupe the All Nighter from Urban Decay. And then we've got this, which also I think is new. Is this part of the foundation plus contour stick yeah so you can use these as foundation or you can obviously get the darker colors and use them as contour but they don't seem to have any in stock so i don't tend to usually show any of the like beauty not beauty products but like i guess stuff for the bathroom shower but i'm really drawn to these because i was like what on earth is that these are uh, shower foam so this is a sweet guava one and then they've also got this one which is peach smoothie i'm so drawn to this but it's three pound fifty and I guess you kind of like shake it up and then it comes out as a foam. But yeah, it looks like a little ice cream, which is so cute. Looks like they've got a new range or at least new packaging for the PS Pro face brushes. Can't say these feel very good. They feel really light and flimsy. And this is £4.50. But they have got this set here, which is like brighter colored. Obviously good for traveling because they're dual ended as well. But that's £7. I feel like these are definitely overpriced considering you can get real techniques in home bargains literally for like £2. Right, let's head into this section now of the clothing so i can actually see puffers over here still so they've got like these sleeveless gilet style puffers we've got quite a few bits of denim obviously the cargo is still here a lot of like graphic tees as well but as you can see throughout the store there's definitely a lot of orange which i am not mad about oh my goodness look at this shirt i actually I <laughs> that looks like something at a circus i think styled right that would look really cool but that is loud no way I can stall that. No. <laughs> 
I've just spotted this as well for part of the Polar Etra Etra I can't say her name, part of the Polar range you guys don't want about. Look at this cropped blazer, it's white and it's almost like, almost boucle I would say. But this is the cropped blazer and then they also do the matching shorts which is so cute. These are £14, very, very, very classy. I really like that. Right, let's head upstairs to the next level. <laughs> oh wow, they've changed everything round. So we've got accessories now right in front as you come up. Wow. That wall is like rainbow now. We've got all the bit that is so aesthetically pleasing. We've got all the beiges, all the oranges, all the pinks. They've mixed the shoes with accessories. Oh. Such like Barbie shoes, like do you know what I mean? They were pink. What do you mean? Oh, Barbie. It's, I thought you said... like, it's like when you were kids, you used to get like... Yeah, you know the plastic. I mean? Those the, those clear heels are still very much in. Oh my gosh, that is so aesthetic. I really like those clips. £4.50. We got some simple heels. These look like comfortable going out heels, to be fair, don't they? Yeah. £12. Oh, so festival stuff now. I think, well, you have to. I swear down, you literally have to. By the time it comes round... This is all gone. They're doing Twillies as well. Oh my goodness, these are like horoscope range. Dior did a horoscope oh, range. Dior literally did a horoscope range. Are you, are, you, are you Gemini? I'm Gemini. Oh, I'm that one. Yeah, because green emerald is our colour. What are you? Sagittarius. Oh. Sagittarius must be popular because they're all gone. <laughs> I feel like these are such a thing that you're like, oh, that's mine, I'm going to buy it. But obviously these are super bright colours. But so cute that they're doing Twillies. That's crazy. A colour-themed party. A colored themed party, what do you mean? Have you ever had that? But like, you'd be orange, I'm pink, like, come here and get the whole outfit. Oh my gosh, that's a really good idea. That's a good summer party idea, if you didn't know, because that's new to me. Like, where you tell everybody to come as a color. Wow. They are, they're cool though, they are cool, but definitely inspiration from Dior. Bucket hats are still in and I just don't get them. Oh my goodness, this is duping the coach bag that went, that was really, really popular, the coach heart bag. Um, also, Chanel did a heart bag that was really coveted as well. Oh my goodness, I don't know how I feel about those heels. And I certainly don't think I'll be buying these anytime soon, but who, like who, have you ever seen anyone wear glasses like this out in public? Um, for festivals. Oh yeah, I guess festival looks. And then we have the world of clips over here as well. I have never seen so many hair accessories. <laughs> so many clips. Into the handbag section, we've got these, which match that dress that if you guys remember from a couple of videos ago. Uh, so these are like little clutch bags, nine pounds. They got them in the black, these sort of satin beige, pink and green. We've got some of the basics. We've got a little bit of blingy ones. I mean, usually I'll tell you guys which ones are duping which designer brands, but at the moment, nothing is sort of catching my eye as pure dupes. I really like their um, earrings and stuff for the summer months. Oh my goodness, look at these. These are so beachy, £3.50, little seahorses, shells. I might have to grab these. They are cute, I feel like Steph's gonna love them as well. You've also got little shells and little stones. You've got these, which are some little beachy clips too. I just cannot wear clips, I don't know why. We've got the original hoops, of course. And then we've got these. I actually really like these little pearl ones in the middle, but the other two I'm not a big fan of. And then the sunglass section. Each year I try and find my favorite Primark sunglasses. I have actually already picked up a pair, which I have to show you guys in the haul that's coming up in the next video. Oh yes, they've got them back. These were my favorite glasses from last year, but they didn't have this like grayish bit on the top, but I'm not, not mad about that. I really like them. £3.50. Oh, they do the little heart ones as well. That's so retro. They're also £3.50, but I kind of love those. They also do the pink tinted ones of these ones, but I definitely prefer the brown. You've got these almost like ski goggle glasses for £4. And then we've got more of the traditional sort of like cat eye style ones and the tortoise shell thicker ones. The shoe section is a little bit of a jumble sale. However, these shoes, I bought them last time I came in and they are amazing they are so comfortable i highly recommend they also do them in gold um i think they were 16 14 or 16 pounds i've just spotted these as well how insane i don't know if you can see on camera how high they are but i love this milkshake color adorable also really like these they're like tie up sandals but they're all kind of like raw tie up which is really nice i think again all their shoes are around 12 to 14 pounds oh no these are 
these are 16 pounds but i really like them i just certainly don't need any more because i did buy these kind of want the gold version of them too they are the gold ones oh, i really do like the gold ones these are 18 pounds these are part of the polar range whereas the beige ones aren't so i guess they've just redone them for that spring colors galore look at these little dresses as well that's so sweet i've noticed on all the shops that these puff sleeves are very much in at the moment this is a sweet little dress at 12 pounds they've also got a green one here which is slightly different material but it's only eight pounds oh my goodness look at this little romper i feel like that's quite cute i might give that a go uh, if they've got my size and this one is only 10 pounds but i quite like that print it's different they've also got this little ditzy floral dress which again is lighter fabric it's only eight pounds this section is really aesthetic we've got a lot of white a lot of beiges oh my goodness what is this dress this is like a nice slip dress. They only have it in the large size, but nevertheless, I love the square neck neckline. I would have definitely, I've got that to try. I think that is really, really nice with the little like cinch sides as well. And this was only 16 pounds. This is giving me massive Zara vibes. I'm really liking that actually. This is 20 pounds though, so it's a bit more pricey. So this is why they've changed everything around here. This is the Worn Well by the Vintage Wholesale Clothing Company that they are launching in Primarks all over the nation. There's actually branded stuff in here and as you can hear, music is on so I can't talk much longer about it. I was kind of excited about this but I gotta tell you guys, I've just had a quick look and I'm super underwhelmed. Everything is just not my style and definitely not really worth showing either. So yeah, I don't know. Do you guys wanna see a video about what's in here? Because personally I wasn't hugely impressed. This is a lot more of what I am excited about, the Primark Edit range. This stuff is fabulous. The quality is amazing. We've got these joggers here, which I'm just totally drawn to. Love the fabric. And they're eight, well, they're $18, guys. We've got the basic shirts at £10. And then we've got this, these suit trouser bottoms are so nice at 18. We've got the matching blazer. We've got a black shirt dress, which shirt dresses I feel like had a moment, but they certainly have gone now. And this is 20. You've got the nice basic vests at eight pounds. And then you've got another shirt dress over there in the beige. I just really like the aesthetic of this area, but they definitely obviously are a more expensive range. Heading into more color. This looks like, again, a lot more basic designs but in so many bright colors, like every color you could choose. This dress is interesting. It's like a lace style dress, very pretty, very sweet, and is 16 pounds. I really like this orange dress. It's just a shame it's on its own and it's only eight pounds as well. I definitely don't think I'm gonna fit in a small, but I may give it a go if it's the only one there. It's no surprise that these have gone into the sale. They are a half price now because they are such a look. I have seen a couple of girls wear these out and about, but I mean, they are quite hard to pull off. Zara did identical to these dresses, um, and I'm not even too sure they were super popular with Zara, but it looks like they've only got larger sizes left. But for that price, I mean, I would probably try it at that price. I know there's a lot of Hindus coming up this year, but I know Primark also always do these ranges, but how cute are these little veils with the bow? And then a little nude and white one as well for like all the bridesmaids could wear that and then the bride wear that on a Hindu. So cute. Oh, what's that say? Customizable stash. Oh, it says future. And then I guess you could put your new surname on there. I'm really liking this color combo on this wall of the lilacs, the pinks, and the lime greens. This skirt was so popular. People went mad for this skirt. I can't say that I'm a massive fan of this print, but I also kind of like it's really cheery. Uh, again, they've kind of only got larger sizes left, but they do the matching little cami top as well. And they've also got this little slip dress, and then they've got the longer dress. I do really like these lime colored bottoms, but I bought a pair last year that I actually wore yesterday on my vlog, if you were watching my Easter vlog, that I love, and they're much better quality than the ones they've done this year, but it's a shame they haven't brought those ones back specifically. I would call these almost pajama style shirts, but they're that mismatch of different fabrics. These are 14 pounds. We've got the pink and the blue. We have got all of the longer trousers here in the orange. They are such a look. This, this orange is so piercing. It's such a lovely bright orange, but I feel like the shorts are more appropriate because obviously with it being such a summery color, we've got some baby pink shorts. We've got this incredible, I don't even know how you describe this color, maybe like spearmint 
where it's the blazer and the shorts at the same prices as the orange one. We've got an orange shirt and then we've got the little normal vest style shirt. And we've got this super cute, Instagram's been going mad for this lilac cropped blazer and skirt set. I've just spotted this set as well, which is like a really thick satin. It's, I just said to Steph, I was like, this is really nice, but I'm not sure if I would feel like confident in pulling it off. So you've got nine pounds for the top and then skirt is 11 pounds. Oh my goodness, look at the blazer. Would you get the blazer to go with the... It's, it's a big look, isn't it? It's very strong. Also, these sort of dresses I've always been in for summer, but I feel like you've got to have an amazing figure because they literally are so figure hugging. But this color combo, I actually really like. It's very, very bright. I don't know whether to try that on, you know? It's also only 16 pounds, which I feel is decent. Okay, so nearly finished filming in Primark but I've got to try on all of this stuff and then me and Steph are going to home. Right, let's head down to Primark home. If you watched my last vlog, you would have seen that we did pop in here to have a quick look. But Easter, Easter's come and gone, but there is a lot of Easter stuff here. That is really nice, the cherub candle. I like it, that's so random. I don't like the pink color. Is it three pounds, is it? If that was white, I'd be, I think I'd be more appealed to that because it's like the statue style. We've got Easter bunnies, even though Easter has gone. We've got this little egg candle holder. You've got a chocolate Easter egg trio bomb. See, I feel like six pounds is really pricey for that. We've also got these little candles with the little fleckles of color in it. Yeah, I mean, I'm just a little bit underwhelmed with all of the Easter stuff. I'm liking all of the black and also we've got more neutral tones. I'm definitely way more drawn towards these. I do like this candle where it's just got the little writing on it and this is a five wick and this is seven pounds we have seen the rope candles before but this is a nice like a beigey grayish color and these are usually about one pound fifty i think i can't see a price oh three pounds now inflation really is hitting again the home section they've got kind of a bit more of a jumble cell going on but i've just seen this and i think it is so cute it says but first bubbles and it's a neon sign and it's reduced from 32 pounds down to 20. they've also got a purple let's party but i can't see what that's reduced to i kind of love this i don't know where we put it in the house but i kind of really want it it's quite big to be fair for the price we've got this again any little home bars four pounds for a little dancing queen sign this lamp it's all like in the sale section but not everything's actually on sale which is a little bit hard to navigate this is giving me the beachy vibes and i was drawn to this i am so terrible with the packaging how lovely is that it's definitely not my scent because this is jasmine and eucalyptus i love eucalyptus i'm not a massive fan of jasmine and the bottle inside obviously has nothing it doesn't look like this unfortunately but i'm so drawn to the packaging and these prices three pounds they used to be two pound fifty but nevertheless, that is a beautiful packaging, but this is probably more my style. So I'm gonna end up grabbing this. The packaging, not so much, but the scent, blue coral and sea salt for three pounds. That's gonna be so perfect for summer. They also do the mini ones for ATP, which are just brilliant value for money. This is so springy. Look at this bedspread on this duvet set, should I say. It is so spring. I kind of love all those floral colors, giving me Ted Baker vibes. And then, oh my goodness, look, it's a sprinkled donut vase. And this one is six pounds. Again, if you're into color, there you go. We've also got this lovely nest of baskets with two of them in there for 12 pounds with the washed wood handle and then the white, love that. We've got a couple of wreaths in. This one's very spring at 12 pounds. We got a little faux flower box, some very spring cushions. These are actually like properly embroidered as well. And it's a cushion cover for six pounds. There's that duvet set that's on the bed and it is 17 pounds and that one is for a single. So a super king set is 28. We've got these cute little elephants. Are they candles or just, no, they're just statues. Gold ones and silver ones and they're only one pound 50. We've got this little trio that comes together. We've got Buddhas, I love Buddhas. We've got the hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil monkeys. These canvases we've seen all the time, but they're actually really cute. And we've got a little Buddha tea light holder as well. Oh, look at the elephant so canvas. So these body vases, yeah, they were made really popular from like H&M and Zara Home, but I must admit I'm the same. I am not a huge fan, but if you are, 
They're only £2.50 for these little ones. The donut vase is still in stock. I think this guy's about six or eight pounds. It's really heavy though. It's actually really good quality. It hasn't got a price on it, but I'm pretty sure that's six or eight. And then we've got, again, more sort of body style vases. Really popular at the moment. Although I definitely feel they're going out of trend. The cute little trinket box is only three pounds, reduced to half price. Some faux eucalyptus wreaths. These are very good for all year round. If you like to have a wreath up, I can't see a price on them though, which is always handy. Primark are giving Ikea a run for their money because we've got some of these eucalyptus draping plants, but this is a lot smaller than the one you get at Ikea, but it is only £2.50. So that does add a little something to the bathroom. You've also got this one. This one's really nice, very long and drapey, and that's £6. In the flower shop, they've got the raw cotton. These were quite popular but they kind of, they do look quite plasticky to be fair, but they have got the raw cotton. These have been like popular on the white company, that sort of style. They are four pound a piece. And then you have the regular eucalyptus, which is about, what is it, one pound 50 a stem? Yep, still one pound 50 a stem, which is good. In the kitchen section, they've even brought spring in here. I must admit, I love this scalloped edge plates there's something about it it's very anthropology but obviously you have to buy them individually which is annoying so that's three pound fifty and i mean i don't know about you guys but i've got six to eight place settings so i'd need six to eight of them six to eight bowls six to eight plates that's gonna mount up very quickly you've got a glass storage container with the little flowers on it as well this one is four pound fifty you've also got this range which i can't recall if i've seen before but these plates are extremely anthropology they're really heavy and good quality to be fair but again at four pound fifty a plate they really should be doing bulk sets because no one's going to kind of just buy like one or one of these one of those like you want it as a set they've got this nice thick wood mango wood bowl at 14 pounds here's some more of that range so there's one of the big plates it looks like they're pretty sold out so there's one of the big plates we've got some spring tea towels we've got the cups as well cups are three pound a piece and then we've got the small plates which i just showed you and a jug too this is giving me complete italian capri vibes with all of these bright colors very Italian style, but definitely not my personal style for at home, but nice for outdoor dining. They've got a new sort of mango wood uh, storage container range. So these have got like the big handles on top. So we've got the taller one, little one, and then we've got a airtight bigger jar there too. They also did this style of jug last year, which I think is so pretty. The glass is so delicate. This is nine pounds, but it's quite a small jug. Like it would probably only do two drinks. For wood serving as well, they've also got these cute little pinch bowls. These are four pounds a piece. And then they've also got this little wooden tray as well, which I probably wouldn't use in the kitchen. I probably use it more for like display. People have been going mad over this. I just don't get it. I really am not a massive fan myself, but at least it's a little bit different. They're only four pounds a piece and it is glass with the mango wood on top. Um, and that little hole isn't anything. It's just like part of the design, but I suppose it is a little bit different. You've also got the amber glass here as well with the normal wood lids. Look how cute this bathroom range is. I don't have gold in my house, but it doesn't mean I can't appreciate it. This is like a marble white, but without the like crackle effect through it with all the gold. And this is the three. So you get like the shampoo, conditioner and body wash or whatever. You've got the little soap dispenser, but how cute is this? I'm pretty sure they did it last year. That is such mermaid vibes and it's £4.50, which is not a bad price. Speaking of the Italian vibes though, this is the only thing that's really caught my eye. I think these are so cute. You could just get one for olive oil and one for vinegar and they're only £2 each. That is really sweet. So they still have all of their cleaning products on sale, which I'm so happy about because I love their stain remover. I've literally just bought three bottles of it. I've just grabbed because they were like the last ones. They've also got this sneaker cleaner, which I'm gonna grab just to pop in our understair shoe cupboard. They do a bed linen spray. They've got a yoga mat refresher, which I was tempted for from my gym bag. And then they have the fabric softeners and the bio laundry liquid, the non-bio one, sorry. I have used this and it's actually perfect for me. And I've got fairly sensitive skin when it comes to detergents. So this is reduced to two pound. I've also used the non-bio uh, laundry liquid. So this one's like a baby version. I bought that initially because I was a bit nervous about it you know being harsh on my skin whereas i thought that one won't be they've also got the fabric conditioner in invigorate and sleep i love sleep for my bedding so i've just grabbed that because it's reduced to one pound from three so you cannot go wrong with that but yeah i don't know why they keep bringing this back in stock like it's always in stock here but it's always on sale 
And then to finish up in the home section and to conclude this video, we've got all of these lovely baskets and storage. Primark really has stepped up the baskets and the storage, I must say. It is getting a little bit pricey, like these um, nests that I showed you earlier for £12 for two. But if they're going to be on display, then you know, they got to look nice. And I must admit, they are really good quality, all of these. And then the last thing that's quite cute to show you is this hanging candle holder, which is macrame. Although I wouldn't trust having a candle in there and then just having the fabric above here. I feel like that's a bit of a fire hazard. But nevertheless, this is, it is a hanging candle holder, but it's only £2.50. So done fairly well. Gonna go check out now. Make sure you're subscribed for the next video, which is going to be a big Primark haul. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I ended up picking up a quite large amount of stuff. So the video after this you're gonna see is my Primark haul for April. It is gonna be massive. You really wanna stick around. If you are new around here, make sure you hit that thumbs up button at the subscribe and the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any of my uploads. I'm also over on Instagram, you guys know. If you wanna see more in-store content, make sure you're heading over there. And apart from that, guys, I will see you in my next video where I'm going to reveal literally half the shop that I bought. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Ciao. You know you make me feel like